here from Hooked on Homemade Happiness. Welcome back to my channel. We are here at part six for the Mandala Crochet Blanket. In parts four and five, we added these triangle shapes to each side of our square to change um, the direction of our square. And now we are going to be working in rounds going this direction for our square for the remainder of the blanket. We will not be rotating our square anymore. This will be the direction our blanket will go from here on out. So we will get started by joining our yarn in one of these corners from the triangle spaces we made, we made last week. So go ahead and join our yarn to this last stitch from one of these triangle sections. So we're going to join right here in one of our corners and we're going to be working around our square in a round of single crochet. So I'm going to join it to the top of this stitch. Grab my yarn. I still happen to have some of the same color so that's what I'm going to be using. Um, but from here on out there will not be any more color control controlled sections. Um, so you can just let the yarn flow however you'd like. Um, you probably have a lot of leftover. If you ended up matching your colors like I did, you probably have a lot left over of the same colors. So you can match up the leftover colors if you wanted to or just go from skein to skein and let it flow how it flows. However you want to do the rest of the blanket, it's up to you. But there will not be any really other color controlled sections from here on out. So I'm going to join there and chain one and I'm going to work my corner space which is two single crochet, chain one, two single crochet in the same stitch. So two single crochet in that same stitch, chain one and then two more single crochet. And then now we're going to be working across this side here, working approximately one single crochet in each, the end of each row here. So we're going to work 30 single crochet, not including our corners, 30 more single crochet from here all the way to here. So approximately one, there's 29 rows here, so approximately one in the end of each row and then this double crochet row you can um, do two single crochet here. Um, so you'll need 30 from not including our corner, 30 from here all the way to the end of where we joined just this triangle section. So now I will be working that one single crochet at the end of each row across this side making sure I have 30 single crochets before I get to that bobble that's in the middle of this row. Sometimes it can be a little bit hard to see the end of these rows. Just working evenly across. It doesn't have to be exactly one stitch per row. Um, just make sure that you have that they're worked evenly and that you have 30 when you get to that bobble stitch. Looks like I skipped one. So here I have 30 single crochets, not including my corners, not including my corners. I have 30 starting here all the way to the end of this section where that double crochet row is and here's that bobble that's in the middle or the popcorn, not bobble, I'm sorry, the popcorn stitch that's in the middle of this row and I will do two single crochets, one on either side so in that chain two space and then another single crochet there so I did one on either side of the popcorn stitch and now I'm here to the next triangle where I'm going to do again 30 all the way across to this corner where we will work our corner stitch. So 30 now from here all the way to here. Here 
Here I have 30 from the beginning of this side all the way across to the corner. And in the corner, I will do um, two single crochet. So kind of move this end out of the way. Two single crochet in the corner, chain one, and then two more single crochet for my corner space. Now I'm going to repeat that on all four sides. So working 30 um, all the way down to that center popcorn, two stitches um, around the one on either side of the popcorn, and then 30 more single crochet to the corner, and then repeat um, our corner space, which is two single crochet, chain one, two single crochet, and repeat that all the way around. Here I have finished up that round. I have 264 single crochet for this round. That's 66 on each side. And for round two, we're going to do another round of single crochet. So I will join to my first single crochet with a slip stitch. And I actually want to start the next round in this corner space. So I'm going to slip stitch to the next stitch and then slip stitch to this corner space. And we're going to be doing that for the remainder of this pattern so that each round will begin in our corner space so that our starting um, of each round doesn't move over a stitch or anything like that. We're always going to slip stitch over to our corner space so that each round starts there. So we're going to do a round of single crochet. I will chain one and for my corner stitch I will single crochet in this chain one space, chain two, and then single crochet again in the same space. And now I will single crochet in each stitch around and then work that single crochet, chain two, single crochet in each corner space. So I've single crocheted all the way around my square for a total of 272 um, single crochet. There should be 68 on each side and I will join again to the very first single crochet of my round with a slip stitch and then I'm going to slip stitch right into that chain two space because that's where we will be starting. Here I am in this chain two space. I will start with a chain one and I will work two single crochet in the corner space, chain one, and then just one more single crochet. So you will have two single crochet on the right and just one on the left for our corner spaces for this round where we will be starting the shell type um, stitches um, for this next section of the blanket in round three. So this is kind of to even out our numbers as we work around for round three. So now I'm going to single crochet in the next 13 stitches. Starting here, next 13 stitches, work single crochets. are my first 13 single crochet. I'm going to skip two stitches and we're going to make a shell type stitch here in the next where we will work um, some double crochets and chain stitches. So I'm going to yarn over and insert my hook here after I've skipped two and work a double crochet. Chain one and I'm going to do that three more times for a total of four double crochets and four chain ones. There's four double crochet and four chain one. I'm going to work one more double crochet. Now I have five double crochet and four chain one. Skip two and single crochet in the next 14. There's my 14 single crochet. 
skip two and work that double crochet chain one um, repeat right here again so I work four double crochet and chain one So there's my four double crochet and four chain one, and then one more double crochet for a total of five double crochet and four chain one. And again, skip two single crochet and single crochet in the next 14. And now I will skip two and double crochet, chain one, four times in the next. And then one more double crochet. For a total of five double crochet and four chain ones. And again, I will skip two stitches and now I'm going to single crochet in the remaining 12 stitches. There I single crocheted in the remaining 12 stitches. Now I will work that corner space where I'm going to work two single crochet. And now chain one and one single crochet on the next. Now you can see we when we did the two single crochet on this side for my corner, it makes this side equal to um, the beginning of the side where we had um, 14 single crochet including our corner space so then we'll also have 14 here on this side so we're going to repeat that all the way around so here we had our corner space and then single crochet in 13 stitches skip two work our double crochets and chains skip two single crochet in 14 skip two stitches here Work that shell type stitch with the double crochets and chains. And again, single crochet in 14 stitches. Skip two, double crochet and chains, skip two, and then double crochet in the remaining 12. And then our corner is two single crochet, chain one, one single crochet. So repeat that all the way around. Here I'm at the end of my round and I will slip stitch to the very first single crochet of the round and then again I want to be starting in that chain one space so I'll slip stitch to the next single crochet and then slip stitch to my corner chain one space and that's where I'm going to be starting round four and start with a chain one and then single crochet chain one single crochet in that corner chain one space and now we will be starting on this side and I'm going to start with 13 single crochet so single crochet in the next 13 stitches So here I have single crochet in the first 13 stitches and I have one more here before I get to this ch uh, shell section. So I will skip this single crochet and then we will v-stitch in each of these five double crochet. So I yarn over and insert my hook into this next double crochet 
and work a v-stitch. So there's one double crochet, chain one, and then double crochet in the same stitch. And we're going to do that in all five of these double crochet. So here's the next double crochet, work another v-stitch, double crochet, chain one, double crochet in the same stitch, and then the next double crochet, v-stitch, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, and then again in the next double crochet work that v-stitch, and then in the last double crochet work a v-stitch. So you should have five v-stitches. So here you have five v-stitches, one in each of the double crochets from that shell. And this shell is just going to continue to grow as we work in rounds. So now I will skip the next single crochet and single crochet in the next 12. You see how that skipping one kind of flattens out this shell for us. So now 12 single crochets. So there's our 12 single crochet. And again, we have one left here. Before we get to the shell section, we're going to skip this and v-stitch in each of these double crochet. So you will have a total of five V stitches again in this shell section. So there is our five V stitches. Again, skip one single crochet and single crochet in the next 12. Here we will skip the next single crochet and v-stitch in each of these double crochet. skip of the next single crochet and then single crochet in the remaining 13. And then now we're to our corner, chain one space where we will work that single crochet chain one and single crochet in our corner space. And now repeat that all the way around working these v-stitches in all of the double crochets, 12 double crochet in between. So repeat that all the way around, single crocheting up to this shell space where you'll skip one and then work your v-stitch in each double crochet, skip one, single crochet in 12, work your v-stitches in each double crochet, skip one and single crochet in 12, and work your v-stitches in each of the double crochet, skip one and then single crochet in the remaining stitches, and then our corner space, single crochet, chain one,
single crochet and repeat that all the way around. Here is the end of round four where I did those V stitches in each of the shell sections. And now for round five, it's gonna be a lot like round four with the V stitches. We're just gonna be adding one more detail with some treble stitches. Now I will join the first single crochet of my round with a slip stitch. And then I will slip stitch over to that first chain one space so I can start in my corner chain one space. Now to begin, I will work my corner. I will start with a chain one, and then single crochet, chain two, single crochet, single crochet, chain two, and then single crochet again in that same space. And then now I will single crochet in the next 13 stitches. Starting with my first one, that corner one. Sometimes it can get hidden underneath your corner stitches. And then now in the next 12, for a total of 13. So there's 13, you should have one more left before the shell starts. We're gonna skip that stitch and we will V-stitch in this chain one space. So in the chain one space, I will work a double crochet, chain one, double crochet. In the chain one space from the V-stitches on um, the previous round from round four. Now I'm going to work a treble crochet in the row below my previous row, so in round three, right here in this chain one space, because we had double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. So here in my chain one space between the first double crochet from round three and the second double crochet from round three, I'm going to work a treble. So I'm gonna yarn over twice, I'm gonna insert my hook down here in this chain space. I'm gonna yarn over and pull up a loop, pull it all the way up to the height of the stitch from this round. I'm gonna yarn over and pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. Now again, here's my next V stitch from round four. I'm gonna do a V stitch in this chain one space. So I'll work a double crochet, chain one, and double crochet in the chain one space from that V stitch in round four. Rotate my work a little bit here better. There we go. <clears throat> and now here's the next chain space in from round three where I will work another treble. So I'm gonna yarn over twice Insert my hook in this chain space from round three. Pull up my loop. And I wanna pull it up almost to that height of this round I'm working on. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And yarn over, pull through two. Here's the next V-stitch where I will work a V-stitch in the chain one space. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet and then now in between the V stitches working in between the V stitches in this chain one space from round three I will treble yarn over twice insert my hook in this chain space from round three and work my treble crochet And then now here's my next V-stitch where I will work a V-stitch in the chain one. And then here is 
my last chain one space right here where I will yarn over twice and work that treble in this chain one space from round three. And now V-stitch in the last V-stitch of this side, or of this little shell, I'm sorry. And then for this little shell, you should have for each one as you go around, you'll have five V-stitches and four trebles when you work these shell sections around. Now we are going to skip one stitch as we work along this little straight edge here in between our shells. We will skip one and then single crochet in the next ten. And that should leave you with one more single crochet before the next shell. We will skip that, skip this single crochet and work a V-stitch in the chain one space from the V-stitch from round four. So here's my V-stitch in that chain one space. And then in this chain one space from round three, I will work that treble. Yarn over twice, insert your hook into the chain one space from round three and work a treble. And now V-stitch again in the chain one space from the V-stitch in round four. And then next is my treble in this chain one space here. V-stitch in the chain one space from the V-stitch in round four. And then treble in the chain space from round three. And then next, here's the next V-stitch. Oops, just a regular double crochet. Oopsies, there we go. Work a V-stitch in that chain one space. And then my last treble worked right here in that chain one space from round three. And then here's the last V-stitch of this shell or I will work another V-stitch in the chain one space. So here's that shell section here. One, two, three, four, five V-stitches and four treble. So again, I'm going to skip the next single crochet and I will single crochet in 10. And then that should leave you with one extra single crochet right here. We will skip that single crochet and then repeat our shell sequence in this last shell on this side. So where I will work a V-stitch in the first chain one space. And then my treble right here in the chain one space from round three. Careful not to do what I just did and fold it down too much, there we go. Now a V-stitch in the chain one space of the V-stitch. I'm gonna repeat that little sequence all the way across this shell. My next treble here. V stitch and then my last treble right here and then my last V stitch. Okay, 
so there's the final um, shell section of this side. Now skip one single crochet and single crochet in the remaining 13 across this side. There's my last single crochet on this side and now I will work my corner um, sequence which is a single crochet, chain two, and single crochet in the corner. And we will repeat that all the way around. Go back to where we started. So you'll single crochet in the first 13 always skipping one on either side of your cell section, shell sections and then working this repeat with your v-stitches and trebles in each of the three shell sections of the side and then working your single crochet, chain two, single crochet in the corners. So here is the end of round five and I will join to the very first single crochet of my round with a slip stitch and then slip stitch into that first chain two space so that I'm starting in the corner for round six. So I'm gonna start round six. Again, I will start with a chain one, single crochet, chain two, single crochet in that chain two space. Chain two, and then another single crochet in the chain two space. And this round is again going to be very similar to the previous round with V-stitches where we'll in, we will, will instead be working front post double crochets instead of those treble crochets. So I will single crochet in the first 13 stitches. So here's my first 13 stitches and it should leave you with one, um, one extra single crochet where we will skip that single crochet and I will v-stitch in the chain one space from my v-stitch in round five. So I'll work that double crochet, chain one, double crochet in that v-stitch from round five. And here is that treble that we worked in our last round. I'm going to front post double crochet in the treble. So I'll yarn over, insert my hook from behind the post, behind the stitch and come back up towards me pushing the entire post forward where I will work a double crochet. Now V-stitch in the chain one space in the next V-stitch. and then front post double crochet in the treble. V-stitch in the chain one from the, pre from the next V-stitch. And then front post double in the treble crochet. And again, V-stitch in the chain one space of the next V-stitch. and front post double crochet in the treble crochet. And then V-stitch in the last chain one space here. So this each shell section will again have five V-stitches and then you will have four front post double crochets in each of these shell sections on each side. And now we will skip one single crochet just like we have been in previous rounds. So skip one single crochet and then single crochet in the next eight. And 
and then that should leave you with one extra single crochet which we will skip and now we will v-stitch in each of the chain one spaces from the v-stitches from the previous round and then front post double crochet in each of the treble crochet so there's my v-stitch front post double crochet v-stitch in that chain one space and then front post double crochet in this treble Oops, try that one more time and then v-stitch in the chain one space front post double crochet in next and then a v-stitch then one more front post double crochet right here and one more v-stitch so there we have our five v-stitches and four front post double crochets now I will skip one single crochet and single crochet in the next eight and that should leave you with one extra single crochet right here which we will skip and then now we will work our v-stitches and front post double crochets across this shell section so start with a v-stitch in the first v-stitch from the previous round and then my front post double crochet in the treble and then v-stitch in that chain one space and then a front post double crochet and then a v-stitch here in the chain one front post double crochet in that next treble and then a v-stitch in this next chain one space that's lovely looking isn't it Let's see if I can there we go Ugh, oh well <laughs> what can you do there we go and then front post double crochet in the treble and v-stitch in that final v-stitch on this little shell section here so here I have my five v-stitches and four front post double crochets and now I will skip one and single crochet in the remaining 13 on this side And now here's my corner. I will single crochet in the chain two and single crochet in that chain two corner space. Single crochet, chain two, single crochet in my corner. So we will repeat that all the way around for round six where you will single crochet in the first 13 and then always skipping one on either side of these shell sections and then you will have five working those five v-stitches in the v-stitches from the previous round and then you will have four front post double crochets one in each of the trebles from the previous round and repeat that all the way around here is the end of round six where we ended with our 13 single crochet and I will join to the first single crochet of the round with a slip stitch and then slip stitch over to the chain two space because that is where we are going to be starting round seven 
And for round seven, we will start with a chain one and our corner space will be a single crochet, chain two, single crochet, all in this chain two space. Single crochet, chain two, and single crochet for our, for our corners. And then I will turn here and again, I will single crochet in the first 13 stitches on this side. There's my first 13 single crochet and that should leave one unworked single crochet right here. We will skip that single crochet and we're going to start in this chain one space from the V-stitch from the previous round. And for this round we are going to be making cluster V-stitches. So it's going to be a two double crochet cluster, chain two, and then two double crochet cluster. So I will yarn over and insert my hook into the chain one space and yarn over and pull up a loop and yarn over and pull through two. I'm going to leave these two loops on my hook. I'm going to leave this first double crochet unfinished. I'm going to yarn over and insert my hook into the same chain one space and yarn over and pull up a loop and yarn over and pull through two. Now I have three loops on my hook. Now I'll yarn over and pull through all three. And there is my first double crochet cluster for these cluster V stitches. Now I will chain two and work another cluster stitch in the same chain one space. So yarn over and insert your hook into the chain one space and pull up a loop and yarn over and pull through two and we're going to leave this double crochet unfinished and yarn over, insert our hook into that same space, yarn over, pull through two and now I have three loops on my hook. I'm going to yarn over and pull through all three and there is my cluster V-stitch. Two double crochet cluster, chain two, two double crochet cluster. And here I'm going to front post double crochet in this front post double crochet here. We're going to repeat that across this shell where we will do the cluster V-stitch in the chain one space and then front post double crochet in the front post double crochet. So we'll work that next cluster so I'll work that unfinished double crochet. I'll leave these two loops on my hook. Yarn over, insert a hook into that space and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two. Now I have three loops on my hook and I will yarn over and pull through all three. Chain two. Yarn over, insert your hook into that same space pull through two, leave those two loops on the hook and again in the same space yarn over pull through two and now there's three loops on the hook and we'll pull through all three and then front post double crochet in the next and then cluster v-stitch do my cluster chain two and a cluster, two double crochet cluster. And then front post double crochet in the next. And then that cluster V stitch. Chain two. And then another two double crochet cluster here in the same space and then front post double crochet in the next and then one more cluster v-stitch in the last v-stitch of this shell section
So then for each of these little shell sections, you will have your five cluster V stitches and then four front post double crochets. And then skip one single crochet and we will single crochet in the next six. And that should leave one unworked single crochet and that one will be skipped and then we will repeat our shell pattern here with our cluster cluster V stitch and then front post double crochet in the next And then here's the last V stitch for this little shell section here. So then there are my five cluster V stitches and four front post double crochets. And then again we will skip one single crochet and single crochet in the next six. and then skip that last single crochet right there and work those cluster V stitches and front post double crochets chain two and then cluster and then front post double crochet and the front post double crochet There's the last shell section of this side. So now I will skip the next single crochet and single crochet in the next 13. And then that will bring you to your chain two space where it will be our corner space, single crochet, chain two, single crochet in that corner space. So we will repeat this all the way around, working the cluster V stitches, front post double crochets in our shell sections, and then you will have six single crochet in between those shell sections, always skipping one stitch on either side. So repeat that all the way around for round seven. 
Here is the end of round seven where I will join to the first stitch of the round with a slip stitch and then slip stitch over to that chain two space so we can start in our corner. Now for round eight, this will be our final round for part six, chain one, and then in the chain two space, single crochet, chain two, and single crochet. And then here we will start along this side. And now again, I will single crochet in the first 13 stitches of this side. And then that should leave one more sit, uh, stitch that we will skip. And for this round, in these chain two spaces, we will be working our shell stitch. So five double crochet in this chain two space. And then front post double crochet in the front post double crochet and we will be doing that across this shell section. So the five double crochet shell in each of these chain two spaces and then front post double crochet in the front post double crochet. And then front post double crochet in the next. And shell in the chain two space. Again, front post double crochet and shell in the chain two space. Oops, that's not the chain two space. There we go. And front post double crochet and then shell in the last chain two space here. So there we have five shells and four front post double crochets. And then now I will skip one and single crochet in the next four And then that leaves one more single crochet that we will skip and then repeat that sequence with the shell stitches in each chain two space and then front post double crochet in the front post double crochet. And there's the last front post double crochet and then my last shell. And again, skip one stitch and single crochet in four. And that should leave one more single crochet right here 
we will skip that single crochet and shell in the next chain two space. And then front post double crochet in the front post double crochet. And repeat that across this shell scallop section. Then front post double crochet in the next. And a shell in the chain two space. There's that last shell of this section here. Now skip one single crochet and single crochet in the last 13 stitches on that side. And that should bring you now to your chain two space where you will work your corner, single crochet, chain two, single crochet. And we'll repeat this all the way around, working shell stitches in each of those chain two spaces and then continuing those front post double crochets in the front post double crochet always skipping one on either side of these shell sections with four single crochet in between and then your 13 on each side single crochet chain two single crochet for your corner here is the end of round eight we ended with the last 13 single crochet of this side and then I joined the first single crochet with a slip stitch do not fasten off we will continue in part seven with round nine we will continue working around the blanket um, in the same fashion so do not fasten off for this week um, and that is it for part six and we will see you next week for part seven